everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Arsenic and Espresso. I'm Alice Arsenic, and this is a podcast where we really drink coffee, but we always talk about metal music. Today, we are throwing it back. Um, I guess not really throwing it back. It's not really throwing it back. Throwing, well, we watched it. We react. Whatever. Whatever <laughs> I'm trying to say. We reacted to this at the beginning of the summer. Yes. Last year? Yeah. Last so this year? was No, this was um, at the beginning of the year is when we reacted oh. to uh, their last song. Um, they made it on um, a video that we put out that was mm -hmm. talking about um, small, bands. small bands that we're looking forward to their new stuff coming out. And this came out the same day as the new Bring Me the Horizon, um, as well as a bunch of other stuff, the new Spirit Box album, all that sort of stuff. Um, and a weekend so, for music releases. Right? Yeah. Pretty, pretty dang good. Um, but I wanted to really showcase them, especially today, because they are super, super close to hitting a thousand subs on YouTube. Mm, um, so yes. if you clicked on this video um, and you like the the metalcore genre, give them a follow, give them a subscription, um, mm -hmm. and check out some of their songs. We think that they do a pretty good job. Okay, so we reacted to their first song that they released this year, which was Left Outside. And now we are going to react to their third song, Obstacles. And I'm very excited. I really liked their sound the first time around. Mm -hmm. So like yeah. Josh said, if you like what you see, give them a follow, subscribe to their channel them on other social media platforms um because they're really 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 good and i'm a professional so you should listen to me. <laughs> i'm a professional <laughs> yeah no they seem to, to check all the metalcore boxes um that i like so anyways without further ado let's just get into it Are you ready yes Do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of um I hope people like see it in the right way, but um if asking Alexandria mm -hmm. stayed metal, right? Like if they cuz they mm. went away from like their yeah. their like really heavy sound. Yes. Um and but they went full Fallout boy. They went yeah, yeah they did, right? <laughs> but if they stayed like in the metal genre with the with the the nice cleans um mm -hmm. and the screams, like I yeah. I, th I, I really that... his clean vocals are reminding me of something and I can't put my finger on it, but it's reminding me of another band sound and I can't remember exactly what, but the the little audio thingy on the mm -hmm. bottom there. Yeah, the equalizer. That yeah, sure. Um that reminds me of the the Windows music player <laughs> yeah. from like nineteen ninety eight. Reminds me of that. Anyway. Yeah, because we were born in the late nineteen hundreds. <sighs> <sighs> All right.
I like the break that they put in there mm -hmm. uh, to showcase the bass. I was going to say that the the guy on drums, who's ever doing drums, mm -hmm. um, he's going to town on the song. Yeah. Um, yeah, everything is... every. Uh, it's checking all the boxes for me like but it's not your typical so we talked about this um uh just a couple of reactions ago that i feel like almost all of like the new stuff that's coming out in metalcore just sounds exactly the same yeah and and they don't quite fit that same like like stereotypical stereotypical metalcore, metalcore. Yeah. um they have they have some very traditional elements in yeah. their sound without it being repetitive without it being mm -hmm. regurgitated mm -hmm. you know uh his, yeah. Okay, I feel like his voice is kind of giving me like pop roach. Do, okay. do you hear what I'm like? I don't. I don't know if I would quite say that, but I don't know. I, I there's someone. Papa Roach is the only thing that came to my mind. That's probably wrong. There's something. There's something about his voice that's really, really, really familiar to me. I dig it. <laughs> G was like, "All right, what are the youths listening to these days?" <laughs> right, I don't, I don't He's know like, if I'm they heard. He's like, "I'm out of work." Okay, so I don't know if they heard boner. Bo wow. <laughs> boner. Careful there. Um, I don't know if they heard "Born of Osiris" and we're like, "We need to add that somewhere," or if they didn't. But either way, it was the right choice. Absolutely, so, the um, right choice. I want to hear more Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. I okay. It's the right choice for me for a few different reasons. I think for me. I like it because I love classical instruments in metal music of any kind, truly. Mm -hmm. um, and I love like folk instruments in metal music. But I feel particularly using a saxophone really leans into the fact that American metal music evolved from jazz. Yeah. And I, that, that bridging of the two genres is, is magical. Yeah. For me, honestly. It works. It just works every time. And it it's does. always so surprising, and it shouldn't be, because it should be a lot more often. Um, 10 out of 10, saxophone. Again. Great. Yeah. So good. Yeah. So good. That I I I just really enjoy music that's really fun to listen to. Yeah. I mean if you're not new here, you know that I don't listen to a lot of stuff outside my like couple of bands that I'm super It's true. What is the word I'm looking for? I don't know, hyper focused on maybe. Um but I really enjoy music that is so different from what is being put out on the regular. Yeah. I do enjoy music that is 
just I don't know, just fun to listen to. Well, you love you love anything that has elements of like symphony in it. Yes. Anything. Yeah, I do. Um but also this song in particular gave me the feeling of like breathing because I felt like there were lots of like really intense like inhales of the music mm -hmm. and it would like let down mm -hmm. like an exhale. It yeah. Very enjoyable. Yeah. Very the, enjoyable. Um, as it started, like the first part of it was like, okay, this is solid metal metalcore, you know, nothing, mm -hmm. nothing bad about it. I like it. It'll probably make my playlist, you know, but then as it went on, I was like, yeah, 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 this is, this is making my playlist for sure. Yeah. So good job on that one. Um, do we want to look up the lyrics yes, real quick? Absolutely. Uh, we'll go over the lyrics and stuff. Um, if you guys, once again, if you guys liked what you heard, um, definitely give them a follow. Um, definitely give them a subscribe. We'll link their stuff down below. Um, getting them to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube is a huge thing. They'll be able to start making some more money off of mm -hmm. um, off of ads. I think they're able to like link their merch on like the, the YouTube shelf and everything like that at just 1,000 for a band uh for a band page and stuff. So just getting that first thousand is such a huge deal to these smaller They're bands. less than a hundred away, right? Yeah, less than a hundred away. Um, this video right now only has 500 views. Let's get that to a thousand too. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Let's help them out. I know, uh, I know you guys can, so. Okay, so Obstacles by Torrential Rain. <clears throat> so tie the rope and pull it tight. So throw the weight into the night. Throw the weight into the night. Some days I feel like I've got way too much to say, so many thoughts in my head without the eloquence to convey, a picture painted with washed out color. I excel at judging my own book by its cover. This is what drives me on. This is what breaks me down. In all the failure in between, I find joy too small to be seen. Should I allow myself to revel in the obstacles I faced? Silence, silencing whispers in the back of my mind, telling me there's more time to waste. There's no time to waste. So tie the rope and pull it tight. Throw the weight into the night. Throw the weight into the night. Because I'm running on pure self-hatred, low, low self-esteem. I can't help it. I feel the walls are closing in. Will I stand still while I'm admiring the view? Can I become that person if I just pull through? Should I allow myself to revel in the obstacles I faced? I'm silencing the whispers in the back of my mind, telling me there's more time to waste. So tie the rope and pull it tight. Throw the weight into the night. Hold your head up and fight the urge to let go. There's something hiding in the struggle, you know. When there's no difference between suffering and pleasure, remember diamonds are created under pressure. Should I allow myself to revel in the obstacles I faced, the obstacles I faced? Silencing whispers in the back of my mind, telling me there's more time to waste, but there's no more time left to waste. Hold your head up and fight the urge to let go. There's something hiding in the struggle, you know. When there's no difference between suffering and pleasure, remember diamonds are created under pressure. Tie the rope, pull it tight, throw the weight into the night, into the night. Yeah, that was dope. Um, those are good lyrics. Definitely good lyrics on that one. Um, this is a solid song. Another another solid song by them. I think too though, like this this type of like writing caliber, um, songwriting, music writing caliber. Um, is just as high up there with anything else that we would expect from some of like the big core mm -hmm. people like Bring Me the Horizon. I mean, I could hear them I, like opening for like Architects. For sure. For right? sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, no, they, they need more love for sure. Um, so, and, and that's- So show them some love. Definitely show them Give some them love. Give them a follow, subscribe to their channel, like their video, watch their video all the way through, uh, download some of their music. Mm -hmm. because it is really really good indeed anyway thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed what you saw hit that thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this you can hit the subscribe button you can also check out all of our links down in the description box we do have our merch we have our social medias linked there and uh anything else that you need to know will be there as well